Hello and welcome back again to Dragon Age Origins. Uh, we are still in Denerim and in the last episode we talked to Queen Enora and she asked us to support her uh, to become a uh, well, ruling queen, uh, I suppose. And yeah, we kind of denied her. <laughs> I mean, I may have considered it, but you know, after what happened at Alhaus estate, I wasn't very inclined to trust her. Um, first of all, I'm still not entirely convinced that it wasn't a setup to begin with. And even if it wasn't, she was a little bit too quick and too eager to turn on us for someone who was actually afraid that her father might kill her. Uh, you would think that uh, if she was actually afraid of that, she would be a little bit more supportive of the only person standing between her and the guys trying to arrest her. So yeah, um, I I just feel that if we made her uh, queen, she would turn us again. And like I said, this would be bad news for for Alistair as the last remaining pretender to the throne. Because I I can't believe that Anora would just allow him to to live so yeah we we said that we wouldn't um, support her and I'm curious to see how this will work out in the future anyway um, there's one thing that I want to do in Denerim uh, Riordan uh, spoke of a secret Grey Warden war that is supposed to be somewhere in the market district district uh, specifically in the northern ally behind um, the Gnard Noble Tavern. Now, apparently this is north, which is kind of counterintuitive, but fair enough. So let's have a look. Okay, this is just Genitivi's home. This is the Wonders of Thedas. Um, I think we already been to the warehouse, but... Um, Let's have another look. Yeah, we've definitely been here before. Oh, this is new, I believe. Ah, I see. All right, all right. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, nice. Ah, probably should have brought Lilia. No, I can actually. I can lose. I'll them. get on it. Um, Got yeah, it. sure, I'll just... Explosive bolt. Ah, but I don't have anyone who uses a crossbow. Let's see what else we got here. High Constable's Mace. Axe of the Grey. Hmm. Duncan's Shield. A gift. Oh. I'll take that. Chainmail gloves and fire arrows. And can I get you a ladder so you can get off my map back? of the Underfelds and a Griffin's helm. Hmm. Um. Hmm. It doesn't look so bad. Uh, I'm almost inclined to to exchange it for my barbarian helmet, but I'm just too used to that one. Alright, I think we took everything in here, but then again, we are the only Grey Wardens left in in the city, so we may as well take it. Okay, um, I believe I would like to have a quick stop at my party camp, because um, first of all, I should clean up my inventory a bit. I have some gifts to give away, and... Um, after that, we can decide what to do next. So let's... Uh, oh, I never really realized that. Can't I travel to the party camp from here? I can. Okay, let's do this. Alright, I'm going to do my usual inventory management. Uh, First of all, and I will bring it back once I have done that. 
Alright, and we're back. I cleaned out my inventory just fine. And some of the noticeable changes I did is... Uh, first of all, I replaced my family sword with the keening blade, a secondary sword. Because, as I was told, a uh, starfang apparently does not export into the other expansions. So at some point I will probably be using the keening blade anyway. Um, and... You know, I just like to tell myself that she probably buried this family sword somewhere because, I mean, she doesn't even have a grave for her family, so maybe she just buried the sword instead. Although, apparently, in this country you burn your dead, but you can't really burn a sword, so she buried it somewhere. In reality, I just sold it to Bodan, of course, but uh, <laughs> that's what I just like to imagine. Also, um, I realized that I hadn't given... Uh, weight superior dragskin armor to Liliana as I had intended to do. So she's wearing that now and I believe that everyone is having quite decent armor now. Um, I will exchange my warden commander's armor for the dragon plate armor at some point. Alistair has a nice armor, Stan has a nice armor, Zevran has the other uh, weight Drake skin armor. And yeah, my mages, I don't really find many good mage robes, so they will have to make do with what, that, what, with what they have. Alright, so um, before I continue, I want to give away a few gifts at least. Um, I found another gold bar and that's for Zevran and I believe yeah Zevran is actually not completely maxed out although he is in love with me which is kind of awkward so um you have excellent taste here you go <laughs> okay now we're at 98 uh, yeah this is this is awkward um I think I will keep the remarkable ruby and everything else I mean this one seems like something for Morrigan, but I mean, she's at 100, so I'll just keep the gifts for later. I do, however, want to give Duncan Shield to Alistair, even though he is at 100. I think um, this is definitely for him, so here uh, you go. This, this shield, it's Duncan's, isn't it? That's his crest. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe you might want it. Thank you. Truly, I had no idea his shield wasn't with him. This is perfect. I, I don't know how else to express my gratitude. This <laughs> means a great deal to me. I can't believe you remembered it at all. <laughs> of course I remember. I'll treasure this. Thank you. All right, items received. Oh, he's actually wearing it now. Um, let's have a look at that. <sighs> it is better than Caden's shield. When equipped in a set with Merrick's blade, the character gains bonuses to damage and to stamina regeneration while in combat. Yeah, I believe, Alistair, maybe you should keep Caden's shield though. Yeah, I think you should keep this, despite all of it. And actually, I might take Duncan Shield. <laughs> Willpower, defense, stamina regeneration. Yeah, I always, I'm always a sucker for stamina regeneration, and I would rather wear Duncan Shield than House Shield, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, is this a, is that a deal, uh, Alistair? I I get to keep this, and you can you can wear Merrick's Shield. Is this all right for you? Okay. Um. I'm not sure if I should talk to anyone, um, but I mean, I, I guess I could try to see if they have something new to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal <laughs> her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't <laughs> my idea? I know. <laughs> I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Yeah, I know. I know this wasn't your idea, but I'm afraid uh, your your name came up, and now you will have to dance to it <laughs> if you want it or not. 
Um, but yeah, I think you'd be a great king, Alistair. Really? <laughs> Whatever will give you that idea? <laughs> um, <laughs> you look snappy with a crown. <laughs> uh, that too, probably. But yeah, you have a kind heart and a strong sense of justice. I mean, that's that's just perfect. Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? Um... <laughs> we could run off together instead. I'm afraid this, this isn't going to happen. Yeah, I'm afraid you don't have a choice, because if, if Anora becomes queen, I, I fear for your well-being, so, yeah. Maybe not. There's good reasons for me to be king. I know that. I just thought Anora didn't seem like such a bad choice. <laughs> it's just that everything I've heard about Queen Anora is that she's the one who really ruled here, not Kaelin. She's smart, tough, determined. <laughs> well, I feel a bit like Kaelin's substitute. I think I'll be better off against the Darkspawn. All right, Alistair, enough whining. Thank you, Alistair. That's excellent <laughs> advice. I'll do my best. Um, <laughs> I agree with you. About the whining? I know, I know. Someone really needs to slap that one around. Uh, I'm sorry, Alistair. I know you don't want to talk about this, but I have to. All right, let's see if anyone else has something to say. What is your wish, Kadan? Speak, then. But, no, I don't think so. Then I suggest we move on. As you Go. wish. I don't know, maybe Ogren? You there. Hi, you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching you. Where can I get some sauce for that rump roast? <laughs> You're drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you propositioning to me? That's right. You've wiped your foot on the Ogren doormat of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh Go no. and make yourself ready, woman. I'll be right there to see to it. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> um, I, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. What's on your mind? I will answer to the um, best of my ability. Probably nothing new here. No. Zevran? You look so tired, my dear. It is all this constant walking and fighting. I think I know what you need. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, a horse? A little late for that, I should think. My thought is this. We retire to your tent, and I show you the sort of massage skills that one only learns growing up in an Antivan whorehouse. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm afraid Alistair wouldn't approve of that, Zeran. Are you suggesting what I think you are? If you mean to ask whether or not there might be more than a massage involved, allow me simply to say that you won't be disappointed with any of the techniques <laughs> I've picked up over the years. Um, <laughs> you must be joking. Um, Zarin, yeah, you know, um, I'm kind of taken, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what is there to fear, my Grey Warden? You deserve a little fun, do you not? If you're not of a mind, however, it is no tragedy. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's someone else. Ah. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more then. I take it all back. Uh, yeah, great. I have broken yet another heart. I really have to be more careful about this stuff. Uh, I'm so clumsy. Uh, Alistair? Something you need, my dear? Let me see of if course. you have anything else to say. No. Um, Something you need, my dear? Something well, to discuss in we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Um, no, nope, never Fair mind. enough. Off we go, then. All right. Uh, man, my, my guys are being complicated again. Let's see if Morgan has something new to say. What comes, my friend? I guess so, not. So, thought.
full of questions, are you? <laughs> Never mind. All right, I believe I should just go and um, tackle some of my side quests. I think I'm going to do th this now. Go to the location marked in the Brazilian forest and use a bow to fire a message arrow across the treetops. Because um, I kind of want to go back to the Brazilian forest anyway, since um, I want to make more health poultices, so I'm going to buy a bit more elf root. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Ogren, yes. Wynn and yes. Severin. And let's travel to the Brazilian outskirts. Um, and yeah, sure, let's level up Win. <coughs> give her more willpower. And I will give her fireball. And then now we're ready to go. Have you changed your mind yet? Are you willing to speak seriously? Of your bosom? <laughs> As you wish. No, I do not wish to speak <coughs> my bosom. But it is a marvelous bosom. I have seen women half your age who have not held up half so well. Perhaps it is a, a magical bosom? Stop talking about <laughs> my bosom. But I thought you wished to speak seriously. I do. I thought, however foolishly, that you might be willing to speak of your past. We could do that. There have been many bosoms in my <laughs> past, though only few as fine as yours. Enough. I'm ending this conversation. Yeah, better do that, because um, if you turn him down too late, he gets kind of disappointed. Uh, okay, let me... We are working hard to make enough equipment yes, for yes, all yes. of the... Um, I would like to bother with you. Um, Alright, let's just... Uh, I mean, it's so cheap, I can just buy it in large amounts. And now I'm going to make some poultices. Uh, oh, I need more... Distillation and Concentrator Agent. I can buy those from Bodane though, so I can just um, make them once I'm back in camp. Um, yeah, um, I suppose I need to go into the forest proper for that. So let's take a look. Um, let's have a look around. Alright, I can see it on my map. It should be over here somewhere. Yep. Firing point. Um, I'll get on it. This is a spot where this message needs to be sent. If <laughs> until you have a bow equipped and ready. Oh, I actually I actually need to physically equip a bow to do this. Um oh dear. I don't have a bow on me. Um oh h hang on a second. Oh, Zevran. Uh you have a bow. Alright. Um I just hope I can wear this. Okay, <laughs> right. Let's let's equip the bow um, and try again. Well, this is this is a rather rather peculiar detail that I actually have to equip the bow in order to fire it in a cutscene. That's interesting. All right, let's do this. <laughs> the message ha message has been sent. It has gone not gone unnoticed. All right. Right. You've made some important enemies with your little arrows. You're through. Ah, uh, so what exactly did we do here? Denerim mercenary. Of course, something had to come out of this. Um, actually, uh, give me back my sword. Yep. And my shield as well. Alright, now we can talk. So, um, I will take care of this guy. 
And, um, he isn't really very challenging anyway. So I'm just going to taunt them all. Alright, and the next one. So yeah, stop running away from me. All right. Um. Well, whatever this was about. Let's have a look at our quest journal. Folded missive by order of Amer Thorogood. Uh huh. All right. No, actually I wanted to see the quest. It appears the messenger was not expected to survive the message, but you defeated the ambush and these associates know it is safe to move. Return to the Gnard Noble in Denerim for your reward. Hm. Alright. Let's do that. Alright, and here we are, back in Denerim. Um, I actually so nice went back to camp for a short moment so I could buy uh, more ingredients for more health poultices and I went all out and made a bunch of potent health poultices. So I hope I'm supplied for a while now. And now let's uh, go back to the Gnard Noble Tavern and hand in our quest. Have you heard the news about how? Everyone in the city has. Ryland must be pleased. <laughs> that half-blood is as cold as the mountains. Did they not serve together in the war? Oh, I can hardly speak ill of the sense or conscience of any man simply for wishing Randon how <laughs> dead. You've met him. The man made vipers <laughs> seem personable. Hmm. Well, I, I didn't say I was shedding any tears over his passing. He never was any friend of mine. Interesting. Who are you and why are you... Oh, it's... Ah, yes, I have some news for you. But first of all, let me turn in this quest. What can I get you, stranger? Um, I finished a favor for one of your interested parties. All right. Oh, four gold. And there's another quest. Uh, ah. Probably... Hebron has done nothing since we've arrived except spend coin on herself. If we stay in Denary much longer, I'll have to send her to a cloister. No need for such drastic measures. She's only a child. She'll outgrow this. Um, I believe is this is... Is that the number that represents becoming intolerable? <laughs> yes. She turned 15 this past <laughs> spring. Uh, let me have a quick look at my quest journal. Right, deliver Emmerich's signet ring. Emmerich gave you his signet ring. He wants you to give it to his sister Ban Avstana. Alright, here you go. May I help you? I was asked to give this to you. This is Emmerich's. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than <laughs> with his head. Um. Yeah, he needs your help. He's alive then? Please, if you have any news of my brother, I would hear it. Hmm. Yeah, he's in the dungeon of the Isle of Denerim's estate. A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. You're Bryce Kuzlin's youngest, are you mm -hmm. not? I thought I recognized you. Take this. It's been in my family for generations. Let it be a sign of the friendship between High Ever and Waking Sea. Let me know if you want some of my bowmen when you take back your tan air as well. Oh, nice. Items received. What did I get? Spirit wart. Ah. Oh. Nice. Alright, I completed this. Um, now let's talk to Seacard and tell him of uh, Arlhaus misdemeanor. Whoever you are, I... <laughs> Wait. I know you. Poor Oswin obviously didn't recognize you. He described you in great detail, <laughs> but never mentioned you were a Kuzland. I owe you his life. It's it's kind of nice that they actually you know recognize that I uh, that I'm a noble. 
That's that's very that's very nice detail. Yeah, I would leave no man to suffer at Alhaus hands. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish how still live that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? Hmm. Yeah, all I want is for you to speak out against Loghain. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Ban Reginelda of the White River Banon. Hmm. I'll speak with her about this at once. Nice, nice making friends among the nobles. That's that's very good. And I still need to bring Liliana uh, to open this chest. So for some reason, I never have Liliana with me in my party when I visit the tavern. Um, I don't think I have anything to turn. Make us blessings upon you. Woman. No. Okay. Um, I will have another look at my quest journal. Yeah, I'm not sure about this quest. I need 12 love letters and currently I have um let me see 8. So I'm missing 4. And I'm not sure if I am going to find them all. So I really hope I do because it would bug the hell heck out of me if this was the only quest left in the end. Um, yeah, the rest I can't probably do at the moment, but there is still uh, one more matter I need to take care of. Let's leave the tavern. And this is the deserted building. This building appears to be conspicuously deserted within an otherwise well-populated district. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, in the next episode because I'm not sure how long this will take. And I think once I have uh, checked out the deserted building, I will uh, explore the alienage because I think it is now accessible. Let's have a quick look around the corner. Yes, I now can access the alienage, but I want to check out the deserted building before I go there. So yeah, see you again in the next episode. More likely working with the dogs will take us over.